my coffee, my water, and my laptop. And I'm thinking I'm going to end off chapter nine soon. I know how to make coffee in a hot, uh, hot chocolate in a coffee maker. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and today is gonna be a day. So a while back I saw a video by Kate Kavanaugh and she was doing this challenge called Keep or Give Up and I thought it looked really interesting and kind of fun and I'm like huh I wonder if I could do it and um now, she didn't create this challenge, it was actually created by uh, Brooke, by By the Brook. And her way of doing it was a little different, I'm doing it more the way Kate did it. But yeah, for today I am going to be trying the Keep or Give Up Challenge. So basically I made a list of 8 objects that I like to have on me when I'm writing. And I'm going to put, pull them out two at a time and sort of have them go head to head with each other and figure out which one of the two I'll keep and which one of the two I'll give up. And it's not really going to be for the whole day, but I think it might be for most of it. Alright, so in this hat I have uh, my eight objects. It's actually a Gravity Falls hat. I love Gravity Falls. And so I'm going to sort of mix them up. Alright, and not looking. Okay, I got ooh, snacks and sweets versus soft drink. Oh I'm going to have water either way. So I think I'll keep snacks. And soft drinks I will put off to the side. Okay, mix it up again. Whoops, no, okay. Okay, one and two. Okay, I got, ooh, a notebook or, yeah, can open it with one hand. My phone. Hmm. That's hard. Okay, so I thought about it. I think I'll do the notebook over the phone because I will at least, like, I'll be on my computer, so at least that way I'll have connections so I can use, like, YouTube or Spotify or something. So. Notebook it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down because there's a breeze blowing, so. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, coffee. Or. Social media. Because <laughs> I kind of like having my coffee in the morning. And uh, you know, around 3 p.m. when I'm trying not to fall asleep. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the coffee, coffee. So put you there, and social media goes over here, which means the last two are my second monitor, or. Hair ties. <laughs> Gee. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder which one of those I'm going to pick. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm going with hair ties for sure. <laughs> Sorry, second monitor, but you're going in there. I will actually try a video where I do all with all of these ones later on. But yeah, so those are the four. So hair ties, coffee, notebook, and snacks. So hopefully this works out.
Okay, so I got my coffee, my water, and my laptop. I mean, I'm gonna be playing this in the background, but I have my story. Let's go load it up. There we go. Um, I've seen that play through like 500 times, so I'm good. And you might notice my phone peeking out there through the back. Um, I was using it to record some stuff while this was, well, my camcorder that I'm using right now was charging, so, uh, kind of already breaking the rules. And I actually realized I didn't bring down a notebook with me, which is actually kind of funny, but I have my day planner, and I figured that, that, that could be good enough, right? So, anyway, I have my story here that I'm working on. And I have my word count in this on this tab. That's what I was trying to say. If it would load up, which it's not. That's great. There we go. So word count. I was doing really good, and then I kind of just went downhill. There you go. So. Yeah, not too badly. I really sh do want to get this number up above uh, 800 again, because <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Alright, anyway, time to get to work. Alright, so, <clears throat> there I've only been typing for a little while, I've already got 301 words, so that is not too bad, and I'm thinking I'm going to end off chapter 9 soon, which means I kind of need to figure out what I'm doing for chapter 10, and I've worked in something that I need to figure out how I want to come back to, but other than that, I think I'm doing pretty well for today, at least so far. See how it comes in a little while, shall we? Alright, so hey everyone. Um, I just noticed the time and I wasn't actually planning on having this challenge be a whole day. So I think I'm going to end it off here. Um, so yeah, I didn't really talk about the process that much. Uh, I was a bit distracted, unfortunately, with today. So I might actually redo this later on. But for today, I actually feel like I did pretty well. So the ones that I got were coffee, notebook, hair tie, and snacks and sweets. So I had my coffee earlier and I've also been drinking some water, lots of water. Um, the notebook I substituted for my planner because I was wanting to plan out tomorrow because I forgot I was doing stuff tomorrow so that's great. Had to sort of add that in and so work my day around that. Oops. And then, um, what was the other one? Hair ties. I, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of have my hair in a bun right now. And I kind of like having my hair uh, pulled back. I just, I hardly ever have it down anymore. And I just don't, I just don't know how I feel if I were to go without a hair tie for a day. I think I've done that a few times. Like, I'm out and about with only one hair tie and my the hair tie breaks. So, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so, there we go. I, I stopped in the middle of a paragraph last night and I really wish I hadn't. But this time I actually didn't, so that's great. I'm not done writing for today, but I got 624 words. Hey, awesome. Uh, so I can add that on top. Yeah, so I had my coffee. I actually might have a second one later on. So, yay. Um, notebook, hair ties, oh, and snacks. Um, I didn't really have snacks. I had a sandwich, um, bread with 
um, barbecue sauce and cheese, which is a lot better than you guys might think. It's actually one of my favorite things to have. So and that's a bit of a snack. Uh, I had a ice cream sandwich because <laughs> I was looking for something in the fridge, in a freezer. It was there. It was cold. I ate it. It's hot here. So, uh, yeah, ice cream sandwich. And I think that's about it I've had to eat for today. So, yeah, I, I'm a little hungry right now. <laughs> um, but, um, honestly, if I could get rid of any of these, the notebook is a fair trade-off. Um, I don't often have a notebook with me if I'm typing. Um, but I do like to have something on hand that is like, oh, I want to do this in the future. You know, let's write that down kind of thing. And normally I would just either, you know, just do that on my phone. So having like a notebook around sometimes is helpful. But also sometimes do my writing in a notebook instead of on the computer. So the notebook thing was, I don't know, I don't think it was needed. But I definitely can give that up if need be. And I think the snacks and sweets. Uh, what I would substitute for those two would obviously be my phone. Again, mostly for notes and things like that. And I guess... See, I don't know. Because the other ones, it was just like... Yeah, I don't mind giving that up. Like, dual monitor would be nice because... You know, I, I could have sort of some of my information up on the second monitor rather than just having like the Word document in front of me kind of thing. And I've also noticed that I, I have YouTube videos playing in the background and I'm constantly like flicking over to it. So if I had that second monitor, it could ha be on the other screen and I could sort of like see it from the corner of my eye kind of thing. So, um, honestly, I would definitely add in back my phone and I guess the second monitor. Um, I guess, and I guess with having my phone back, not social media, I would have to sort of keep it on silent so I wouldn't, so it wouldn't be going off, I guess, like every five minutes when, you know, uh, someone posts a video on YouTube or, um, someone makes a tweet on Twitter or something like that, which is basically what I did today. I just had it lying flat down. So it was there, but I wasn't using it, like, apart from recording, so. Um... But yeah, I think I think this was interesting. I'm definitely going to try it again, again, with my full attention. But what I might do is sort of more on the sprint mode rather than trying it for the whole day. Um, and I just want to see like how it would change based on where I am. So I might try it again come September. Um, just because I will be back in the apartment and, you know, my criteria will change because maybe instead of sweets and snacks, I'll have my desk chair because I really like my desk chair. I haven't been able to use my desk chair since April and I'm missing it. <laughs> and, you know, one of my, one of the things I might need is, you know, warm socks because, you know, right now it's the summer when I go there not only is it you know, starting to get cold, but I'm in a basement, so, you know, maybe warm socks and, a he and turning on the heater is something I need rather than, like, you know, a cold glass of water or something like that. Though wa water is not non-negotiable, so <laughs> I might take out the water and, or I might take out coffee and add in hot chocolate. I can make hot chocolate in my coffee maker, which is so nice. Yes, I know how to make coffee in a hot, uh, hot chocolate in a coffee maker. <laughs> um... I'll have a link down to both uh, Kate and Brooke uh, who did this challenge and let me know what you guys think. If you would try it out, what sort of items you find are necessities. Like for me, I think having water is a necessity. But yeah, so um, questions for you guys. Um, what would you define as a necessity when writing and what would you add in? for your keep or give up if you were doing this challenge. Like I said, for me, the water is a necessity. Um, I could have also changed this so that, you know, instead of, you, you know, do I work on my computer or do I use my uh, notebook? So, uh, and, and remember, it, it can change within the situation. So, what, um, what would you guys keep and give up and what do you guys consider a necessity? 
Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video today. I am currently doing Camp NaNoWriMo and I'm posting up weekly vlogs about it, so keep an eye out for that. I've already posted up week one and two on my YouTube channel, plus I have a whole bunch of gaming videos that you can check out if you're interested in that. And yeah, definitely give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date because I do post videos pretty much every single day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!